think Halliburton's kind of have it on cruise control. Really? You always see him posting up with like... Oh, yeah, the snow bunnies. All the snow bunnies. <laughs> I don't know. Man. I don't know what's going on yeah, there. Just... Shout out to you, Halliburton. Yeah. I would be doing the same shit. <laughs> I got my money. Yeah. Let oh. me enjoy life. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Life ain't about champion. You know you're not winning no. a chip. You might as well post up with the bunnies. I don't know. <laughs> Oh man, okay. So, is have you been watching on um, the starting five? It's really no, good. I on, have on, it. You gotta watch it. Yeah, I'm on the, I'm on the third episode. Oh, it's okay, pretty cool. nice, it's nice. Pretty cool. I I see all the trailers and stuff leading up. It looked really yeah, cool. Looks- I really want to see Anthony Edwards. He's one of my favorites. You will love it. Yeah. because Anthony Edwards is probably the, my favorite one. On yeah, this. really. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 he's got such good personality. He has charisma. Right? Yeah. He has charisma. Yeah. So how's it been going so far? It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. LeBron is kind of like the centerpiece. Okay. Then they jump into Tatum. They jump yeah. into Anthony Edwards. Yeah. They jump in Sabonis. I love yeah. Sabonis kids because I was a huge Arvita Sabonis fan. Oh, nice. So they kind of yeah, show yeah. like him with his father and stuff oh, like cool, that. It's, cool. It's, yeah. it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. We forget about Arvita Sabonis. Yeah. That man was dominant. Mm. Dominant. Yeah. So, Boston. Who's mm. the number one option? Ooh. Mm. Is it Tatum? Tatum got the money, the max money. Yeah. Not that Jalen Brown had that much less than him, but Jalen Brown is yeah. the man in the playoffs. He is, yeah. Finals MVP, conference finals yeah. MVP. It's tough because... Or is that only because man. he plays with Tatum? I think so. Yeah? I think they like they feed so well off of each other. Yeah. But I do think, though, Tatum is the number one option. Yeah, okay. For sure. But I think this season's playoff run for them will kind of be a telltale. Okay, was it just... Because Tatum still... He still performed during the playoffs. It's not like he was yeah. just, you know, lost. Like, he still put up numbers, right? But obviously, Jalen Brown was the... He, he ran away with it, yeah. right? But... Or that... Maybe opponents' defenses are zeroing in more on Tatum. Could be, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what does it say if they do go back to the finals and, once again, JT mm-hmm. is the conference MVP, finals mm-hmm. MVP? Yeah. Well, then I think we, we got a pretty clear picture of who's, who's uh, the, best? Who's who's the, the number one option. Yeah. I mean, but, I mean, look at it this way, though. If you're, if you're the Celtics, like... Yeah. That's probably the perfect. That's situation the best. To like be everyone in. was saying, like oh, they yeah. wouldn't work out. But like, yeah, why wouldn't you want to be in that problem? Yeah. Would you rather have the Sixers problem mm. or the, or the Clippers yeah, that's problem? True. You don't hear them complaining about exactly. load management or, or you know, you this got and two that. horses trying to yeah. true dogs yeah. trying to play hard. But yeah, I think Jalen Brown is the number one op, not number one on offense. Yeah. Um, I think he's the best player on that team mm. because of his defense. Yeah. I think yeah. Tatum is a little bit better offensively just because he has the more consistent three. Mm. Okay. But defense, like Tatum, um, Brown just yeah, just amazing. Mm. So you would say you would pick Tatum. Sorry, you pick Brown over Tatum defensively. Yeah. But offensively. I'll take Tatum. Tatum, okay. That yeah. makes sense though. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. To me, Jalen um, Jalen Brown's game kind of reminds me similar of Westbrook's in a sense. <laughs> yeah, boy. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to find a good comparison. I, to I me, think Jalen Brown is like a better Jimmy Butler. Mm, you know okay. what I mean? Yeah. Huh? Like Jimmy can go out there and get you play really good defense. Yeah. And give you like twenty consistently, mm-hmm. but he's he's not gonna give you the forty point games. Yeah, mm-hmm. Jalen Brown's gonna give you that. Jalen Brown also playing that defense. Yeah, hmm. better. I think he's a better version of yeah. Butler. Okay. Yeah. Well, I would I would say okay. Even going back to my Westbrook comparison, he's a less selfish Westbrook. Okay. Because are you saying Westbrook is selfish? At one point, I I don't think he is now. Okay. But at one point when he was in OKC. He was selfish. Okay. But again, that he wanted to be number one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially too when KD left. 
okay, OKC was his. And then he bounced around. He went to Houston. He went to the Wizards. He went uh, to the Lakers. like To the Clippers, yeah. To the Clippers. like Things just kind of... He just bounced around. But I feel like there was a point in OKC where he wanted to be that number one option. Yeah. Right? And he was selfish. Remember when he was going for all of his... What was it? Triple doubles? Triple doubles, yeah. Right? And he was like just selfishly rebounding the ball. Everybody at, at that point, everybody just kind of just cleared out. Like, just okay, let him have it. You're just, going for the record, fine. But he for went for it. like three straight years, right? Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. But and it's he, hard though. It is. Even it is. if you're selfish, that yeah. is hard to do. Yeah. He accumulated. Wow. I think it was like a hundred and something triple doubles. Like it was something ridiculous. It's crazy. That, and like Jason know, Kidd is the second one with yeah, the, like forty one or it, some, something like that. That's crazy. Yeah. But you know, hey, you know. Kudos to him, though. Yeah. What? You think You think the Nuggets this year, you think they're going to give Boston a run now that they added Westbrook? I think I'm worried that the Nuggets might have injury problems mm. with Jamal Murray. Yeah. He's he's not been showing up, and he's yeah. not looking right in the playoffs. Jokic yeah. will always be Jokic. Oh, yeah. I think Jokic, you got... you got probably two more seasons with him being Jokic. Yeah. He, he looks like the type of player that might be like an Arvidas Sabonis. He mm. might slow down, still yeah. have like his shot, but he won't be able yeah. to move laterally. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Try to uh, do the Kevin Garnett yeah. thing. <laughs> I mean, sometimes when I'm looking, when I'm looking at Jokic run, he looks like he's exhausted. He runs very. He has like, lazy feet, like clumsy. He, yeah, like yeah. that's what I'm saying. He's yeah, one or two seasons more, and that's yeah, that's it, right? You know. But, and also, too, even him being a big, like, that takes a toll on your body, yeah, right? But, yeah, Jamal Murray, he's, I don't know, something, something's, something's up. Something's not right. Like, even Team Canada yeah, over just, the Olympics, something wasn't right. Yeah, you just, some, I, don't, I don't know. And there are unconfirmed sources within the league that are saying, league execs and whatnot, they're saying that players are saying that Jamal Murray is easier to guard now than okay. it was when the Nuggets won. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, again, these are all unanimous, okay. right, and whatnot. A little yeah. chatter here and who are your there. your sources? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> who, who was it? Uh, Jalen Brown. To Jalen Brown. Stephen A. Yeah, yeah. Jalen Brown. Yeah. It's like, hey, you're not going to give that up. <laughs> but Okay, but is that a le- legit excuse, who your yeah. sources is? Because no. you could literally make up anything yeah. and say, I can't give you my sources. Yeah. That's true. But I guess there has to be some respect there yeah. to say, I actually do have sources. True. But like I look at it too. It's like, well, that source, aren't they kind of like a whistleblower in a sense? Yeah. Like, and, and now it's almost like, is there any credibility? Yeah. You know, because again, these sources could be legitimate or this could be someone just BSing something. Yeah. Right? We don't, we don't know. know. But, but hopefully these sources are reliable sources. True. So if you... Gave them information before, and they're like, yeah. what the hell happened? Yeah. Nothing happened what you said. Not even, like, this yeah. bit. You know, and I... I wonder think, who those sources yeah. are. I think I, I would be one yeah. of them if I was in the NBA. Really? I would be, like, those people who be, like, in the locker room. Yeah. Oh, he has injury. He's not telling anyone. And also, too, for someone like Stephen A to yeah. take what you told him, yeah. that means he looks at you as a credible source. Yeah. But he's probably right. annoying. He's like texting you every day. You got, oh, you got something true. for yeah, me, yeah. man. You got something for me. <laughs> slow oh, day, slow day sports. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, hold oh, on, true. man. Yeah. I can't make up something. <laughs> Come on, go listen to the. Damn. <laughs> You're in the Put toilet in the, the stall. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine Stephen A? <laughs> oh, my God. I would God. love to work with Stephen A, though. Really? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You, you think so? I think. Mm, think you would be like yeah. on you would be like annoying oh, person yeah, yeah. Person but i i guess just because you didn't see the swag yeah. of him walking in like yeah you know looking cool yeah. you know he looks like a cool guy <laughs> yeah like you know but i think he's really yeah. cool guy i like him yeah i like what he has to say like outside of true those things even like some of his interviews that he's done on yeah. other platforms right like he's just like he's inspirational like cool yeah and he's been getting into more um more diverse yeah. kind of topics. Talking about yeah. politics, yeah. trending stuff. Yeah. yeah, man. He's... I like him. Oh, yeah. I like him. That's a personality. Yeah. He's mm-hmm. looking to expand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's it too, right? Because at some point... He did say... Yeah. He's still looking for that contract from ESPN. That's Negotiations it, right? are going yeah. well. 
Like, he wants to be able to say, I can do my own thing. Yeah. 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 And, like, also, too, I think... um, He's seen that YouTube money. That's it, right? Look at what um, what Shannon's doing, right? Yeah. You know what I don't get? How does YouTube... Yeah. There's no way that I know of you can promote your videos, but those show up like ads, right? Mm. On the YouTube algorithm. So we've done that before. Yeah. How the hell does people search Stephen A? Yeah. And he just starts a channel and all of a sudden everyone subscribes. Yeah. His channel stuff gets pushed to you. Hmm. Like we can both start at the same point. We can create the same thumbnails. We yeah. can create the same titles. We can push our things through promotions. He doesn't. Yeah. But all of a sudden he's this. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Mm. These celebrities have an advantage somehow. Yeah. They call someone at YouTube and they get yeah. their stuff pushed. Oh, I think so. Like, it's not fair, man. Yeah. It's just not fair. Yeah. There's no way Stephen yeah. A just starts his channel and has almost a million followers. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's no way. If yeah. you type in Stephen A. Smith, yes, his channel could be named that, but yeah. it shouldn't be the first thing that shows up. That's There's true. other people yeah. that shows up who talk about Stephen A. Smith. Yeah. Should be in the algorithm way longer than he has. I just but, don't get this shit, man. Oh, yeah. It's like, hey, you help me out. I, I'll feed you content. You just make sure you have me in the right places. And whether there's monetary exchanges, we don't know, right? But doesn't make any yeah. sense. Uh, yeah, big ups to you, Stephen A. <laughs> yeah. If I was in his position, I would be doing the same thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, you have yeah. a friend over at YouTube, a friend at Google, a yeah. friend here, there, you know. Having friends in powerful places help. It does. Oh, yeah. Stephen A. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So who's your your top? Let's do top three. Mm. Because Inside the NBA kind of gave their top 20 players, I think it was, or top 50. Yes. Yeah. Um, So I think Kenny had LeBron at two. Mm. Yes. And that that was the big big topic. What do you think about that? Hmm. LeBron this age. I mean, we have the luxury. Yeah. They did it before the season started. True. We had the luxury of seeing a few games into it. Yeah. This is what? The week of Halloween break? Yeah. So, so we've it? had like five, four or five yeah. games on the calendar. LeBron looks good. He does. LeBron How old is he now? 39, 40? It's probably 40. 40? Yeah, like... How, his athleticism it's though, not fair it's just he like he's a like a one in a generational specimen just yeah as a just, human yeah like just, his athleticism even going back to last season he was throwing one-handed dunks that prime lebron was throwing was still doing that he's doing right now with no issues so if you watch the starting five yeah he did say he still he got pissed off at the lakers so you'll you'll see it. i want to ruin yeah. it for people but they had him on a minutes restriction, mm. so he got pissed off. Yeah. They finally lifted. He said, basically, he doesn't want to be on a minutes restriction because he's, he knows. He doesn't yeah. say he feels. He knows. Yeah. He's the most athletic person yeah. on this floor, mm. and no one even comes close to him. That's Damn. like with AD on the team. That's yeah. why like a bunch of young guys, he says he knows he is far superior than anyone right yeah. now on the floor. Wow. <laughs> if i was the lakers if i was a fan an opposing player i wouldn't even question that yeah right um but even for him at his age to believe that though that's that's good that's that's self-confidence that's that's, but it's true too like it's true you You know what i mean it's not like he's talking this and he's one of the worst in the league like he's talking this and he's got everything to prove it and you like compare someone who was very athletic probably more in his prime than he was vince carter mm. in his 20th yeah. season 21st season he was nowhere no. where lebron is nowhere no. No. so that's like just shows you how amazing yeah lebron i Jeez. hope i hope to god they don't test you for some shit <laughs> and find because like you are yeah. just like superhuman yeah. you're like a marvel superhero it doesn't make yeah. any sense Please, and, God, don't ruin this for me. <laughs> but do you think you have any slight doubts? That there I'm was scared. Really? I'm scared because 
in the Olympics, we yeah. didn't talk about this on the pod because we didn't pod for a while. I mm. wanted to bring up that Steph and KD. Yeah. Remember KD was kind of re- – he was injured and then he played for the Olympics. Yeah. He Like maybe the last three games or something like yeah. that. Steph and KD were tested every single game they played. Mm. LeBron was not drug tested. Interesting. I don't know how true the article is, yeah. but – there have been multiple people saying and articles yeah. out there that says LeBron was not tested, drug tested, or maybe he was tested once. But yeah. um, what I read was he was not drug tested, but Steph and Katie were drug tested a lot wow. more. That's interesting. I'm scared. Like It's like, do people know about it and they kind of don't yeah. want to ruin it? Because huh. it would ruin a lot, yeah. Oh, yeah. a lot, for, especially for his life. Yeah. It would break hearts, man. Yeah. It would break my heart. It would. I'm scared. Because... <laughs> Like, even look at what happened in baseball, right? Yeah. With some of the greats who were tested for steroids, yeah. right? And it, it literally ruined and tarnished their legacies, right? So, yeah, it's, it definitely would. And, again, we're not talking about some Joe Blow. This is LeBron James, arguably the greatest Are you not a little bit time. scared? Uh, no, because I don't believe. You, you believe? I believe he's 100% pure, I think. Everything is God given. His okay. talents, his uh, his ability, his muscle, everything. Okay. I think it's one hundred percent pure. Please. I hope. I please, hope. Please. You know, because he. <laughs> oh man! Like, like even just, even just like his physique to yeah. maintain that from his first season to where he is now. Like that's hard to do. Yeah. Right, and of course he has access to the top trainers, doctors. But so does everyone. Everyone. So right? does everyone. Right. You know, you ask the team for anything. You ask the team for someone to pick your ass. They'll yeah. send someone. You know, to, Ooh, to do. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Itching. <laughs> Coming. It's like someone. You know, but yes, master. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Someone scratch my suits. <laughs> That's Ooh. some fresh LeBron. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, God. But, like, you know, if you are if you are LeBron, you are... People are literally bowing down. The league is going to bow down for LeBron. Yeah. Right? So... They better hide any shit that comes out if it does. Well, mm. Because that would ruin yeah. the NBA. You oh, know yeah. that would ruin... Oh, yeah. Not just LeBron. Yeah. The NBA. Oh, yeah. For Knowing sure. Knowing this for how long? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think I think he's one hundred percent Okay. Pure. I think so. So who did Kenny say was number one? Was it Jokic? Uh I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Jokic. And this was for the season. Yeah, the yeah. start of the season. Yeah. I, I think mean, it was either Jokic or Luca. Mm. I mean I'm not mad at that. I wouldn't, whether it's Luka or Jokic, one of them, I wouldn't be mad at that over LeBron. Yeah. I I think that's fair. That's a fair. Okay, I have the list right now. Okay. Giannis. Giannis is number one. LeBron James is number two. Jokic is number three. SGA is mm-hmm. number four. Five is Joel Embiid. Six, Luka. Okay, let's talk about LeBron first. Okay. So, Giannis... I would say at this point, Giannis is better than LeBron. Yeah. But do you agree them being one and two? So you heard the other names. There's Jokic, mm. SGA, Joel, Luka, Tatum, Jalen Brown, KD, Steph, Anthony Edwards. Victor's all the way at 13. Mm. I would actually, I in my opinion, yeah. I would put Anthony Edwards top five. Top five? Yeah. Because really? on the list, I think he was seventh or eighth. He's 11. 11. Yeah. After Steph. I put him top five. You put him ahead of Steph. Oh, yeah. Top five? Yeah. Okay. So what's your... Let's let's go down. Let's go down. Okay. So for me... One. Or we can start with five. So Anthony okay. Edwards. Anthony Edwards. Yeah. I have the luxury of... The, if you want to take a look at like, uh, some names. I'm going to freestyle this. Okay. I'm going to freestyle this. So I'm going to go Anthony Edwards. Luca, okay. Uh, 
Giannis. Giannis. Okay, so LeBron is out of uh, out of your top five. No. Oh shit. LeBron. Oh shit. Le- I'm 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 stuck between Jokic and LeBron being one or two. One and two. Yeah. So LeBron. Damn. So LeBron, yeah. you're you're good with Kenny having LeBron at two. Yeah. Damn. Because again, look. If the Lakers were a better team, yeah, I think he would be considered. Oh, for sure, for sure. I think it's just hard for us to phantom at this age. Yeah, he's still yeah that good. Oh yeah, I got someone to throw in there. So if LeBron, I'm gonna I'm not gonna put LeBron at two, but I'm going to put. Mm-hmm. Five is going to be for me. I think this guy's going to make a huge jump. Yeah. Victor. Yeah. When Bayam mm. wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I think he's going to be five. I think Luca is four. Mm. I think LeBron is three. I think two is Giannis and Jokic is one. Mm. The good thing yeah, I like about boy. these lists yeah. is I see the Giannis love again. Yeah. It's coming back. Yeah. Because he kind of faded after his MVPs. Yeah. I see like people are respecting him again. That's true. Yeah. I, I think I think the hype with when Lillard joined the Bucks and it was like, oh, okay, you know, we're looking, the Bucks yeah. are gonna be, you know, coming out of the East and it didn't really pan out. And Middleton's healthy this year. Middleton's healthy, but they also lost Drew Holiday. Yeah. That was their chance. He was that a was, huge yeah. piece, which yeah. obviously was a huge piece with Boston. You notice uh, how we didn't say any for anyone from Boston in our top five? Mm. Tatum, we, Tatum is number one on Boston, but I don't think he's he like your is he, is he the sixth? Or yeah, is I like, think or he SGA be, is like you got SGA there, there you got Steph, yeah. you got KD still. Yeah. You got Victor. You didn't mention. That's true. I have him in my top five. It's okay. It's easier to do top ten, but top five. It's top tough five is because, tough. like, some some would argue and say, well, like I would have LeBron as let's say number two, right. maybe even number one. Let's just say right. But I'm contemplating between the two. But some people won't even have him. Yeah, in the top a lot five, of people don't. A lot right? of people have him in the, in the top ten at least. But you can't deny LeBron. Like LeBron. Is one season away... Like, he could put the Lakers on his back and take them right to the championship. Yes, they got 80. They got decent pieces, right? But at the same time, like, this is LeBron James we're talking about. Athletes from all sports, he's one of the greatest athletes ever. 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 Right? Yeah. You know, so... Like, I can't count him out. Yeah. And he's... Like, he's also got that old man strength. Where he's still strong, old in age, yeah. but he could complete with some, compete with some of the young guns. He has the league, farmer right? strength. Yeah. yeah, and that's why I say he's like one of those like generational specimens as a human. Yeah, right. But I agree with your top five. It's not bad. Yeah, I think. Do we take so Jokic? We agree is the best player in this for season. for sure. Yeah, injury asterisk whatever, yeah. injury free. Yeah, yeah. So we all say Jokic is the best yeah, player. Yeah, okay. I say so. Yeah. Um. I do think though that this season for the Nuggets and for Jokic will kind of be a telltale. If they are that, yeah. If they or was it a fluke? Right. Because we know Jokic, he could do it on his own. Yeah. Right. He needs help though. He does. A center center can't do it on his own. Exactly. And with a struggling Murray, yeah. like, okay, you add Westbrook, but. That this is not prime Westbrook. This is coming to the end of his career. So this would kind of be a telltale. They needed right? to find someone as good as Jamal Murray or even yeah. better. Yeah. Like maybe Chris Paul was was the better choice. They would have got him mm. on a discount. True. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, he would have been playing. He probably would think if he had an offer from Denver. Yeah. He probably would have taken it because yeah. you kind of know you're going deep in the playoffs. Yeah. Spurs is oh, still yeah. a question mark. For sure. Which... I don't know. I, I didn't understand him signing with the Spurs. Yes, okay, you got Wembyama. Yes, I don't think a lot of NBA but, teams want him. Mm. 
I think a lot of them think he's past his prime, and he's in his mind he still thinks he's Chris Paul. Mm. That's fair, but he has a lot of playoff experience. Of course, he's never yeah. made it past the conference finals, which has been a knock for his yeah. whole career. But like he has, he's a veteran presence, right? Yeah. So, um, but a team like Denver, like okay, a team like the Spurs, sure. They need that veteran presence because they're literally a young core. Same thing with like OKC. They're all a young core. For the Nuggets, I don't think they need that veteran presence because they I, already have veterans who... I do. But my argument is that you need a solid point guard. True. Because yeah. Jamal Murray, you don't know what you're going to get. True. That's... So I don't know. Yeah. Who's his backup? I don't even mm. know. It's question. Westbrook, I guess. I mean, that's a decent option too because... <laughs> It could go one or two ways with Westbrook. You could get average, or you could get above average Westbrook. Or you get shit. Like the other night, oh, he put yeah. up zero points yeah. for like for what, however long he played, like twelve minutes or something like that. That's true. And the thing with Westbrook is he shoots a lot. Yeah. Right. So he's gonna throw up a lot of shots. It's horrible. Shooting. So shouldn't be shooting. You know. <laughs> but when you have a big like Jokic, Jokic, who you could just feed him and just get into the paint. I mean. <laughs> Yeah. You know, but it'll be interesting to see, though. So, if you could pick one team to come out of the East and one to come okay. out of the West. So, this is our prediction. Got? We'll come back yeah. to this. Right? Okay. We'll come okay. back to this at the end of the year. All right. I still think Boston will be the team mm. in the East. Um, I don't care what people say. I don't. I forgot the coach's name. Mine, what's, what's his name? Uh, for Boston? Yeah. Uh Manzoli. Something. Manzoli or whatever yeah, his yeah. name is. Huh? That guy is an amazing coach. Yeah. I think he has a lot to do with it. People are just not even talking about yeah. him. but So I think Boston. Mm. Out of the West. So you got Phoenix. Mm-hmm. You got Dallas. Mm-hmm. Who added Clay. Yeah. Charles Barkley said it was that didn't do anything. Yeah. He thinks Dallas was a fluke. I don't know if you heard that. He said Dallas was a fluke. It was all based on matchups. I don't think so. Mm. Um, But Kyrie and Luka gelled. There's a lot of pressure on Luka to get a chip now. Yeah, for sure. Um, You got OKC. You got OKC. You got Denver. Yeah. You potentially got the Lakers. Yeah, there's some. If LeBron in there. is two, you yeah. got the Lakers. Yeah, as yeah. long as AD doesn't yeah. mess up himself. <laughs> yeah, again, which you know is gonna happen. I'm yeah, sorry, he's it's... he's not playing. He's not playing 82 games. No, he's not playing 82 games. But a healthy AD though, he's he's dominant. So remember what I said in starting five. You said yeah. no one's better on the team than he is. So that's like a shot to AD. He's probably tired of this shit. He's like, True. I came here. Yeah, you were yeah. supposed to take over the team. Yeah. And Freaking got me doing all this shit. Yeah. But anyways, um, so I think it's going to be Boston. And I'm going to say Jamal Murray shows up. Mm. I'm going to take Denver. Mm. Wow, okay. Yeah. That would be mm. good because Denver won it the previous year. Yeah. Then you got Boston. Yeah. Then you kind of have the last two yeah. cha- championship teams That's true. playing. Mm. I think I think those two. You? That's fair. I got Boston out of the East, and we're going to see a rematch. And I got the Mavs. Mavs? I got the Mavs. I got the Mavs. I think with Clay, like, they have a lot of pieces. Yeah. But I think, like, right now, they're still trying to groove. But I think once they get going, though, yes, it's not Clay of Golden State, like young Clay when they went on that incredible run. But I think... I think they'll they'll make yeah. something happen. I hope yeah. so. I hope Luca gets a chance. Yeah, too. I think so. Um, who's the other? Com- who I can't think of anyone else who can beat Boston. Who hmm. are the players? There's Philly. Obviously, we know Joel sucks. <laughs> Not gonna do anything. Um, the Bucks. Maybe are- this is this is like the last season. Yeah. If Giannis doesn't do anything in the playoffs, it's yeah. it's over. And what Lil- what Lillard are you gonna get? Right. That's another thing too. I have right? no faith in Lillard. Really, I have no faith. in What? Lillard. Oh. oh man, he's like a waste, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got faith. I got faith in him. Um, who else you got? Uh, I think that's it. 
Yeah. The Knicks. You got Minnesota, Anthony Edwards. Mm. No, Minnesota's West. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, they made a good playoffs. The Heat? Nah. nah. Okay. Was that run to the finals fluke for the Heat? You mean the bubble run? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was a weird season, right? It because was, the yeah. Lakers won, and yeah. they did. They sh- sucked the following yeah. year. Miami won. They s- not wasn't Miami the following yeah. year. It was weird. Cause there is an a- I don't want to say there's an asterisk. They did win the chip. Yeah, but there's an asterisk with the bubble. Yeah, something was off. Oh yeah, I think so. Like that whole bubble period was, was just. But who else you got? Um, That's it. I think that's it. The Knicks. The Knicks will the be Knicks interesting. Are interesting. They're interesting. But I don't know. Like, Carl Anthony Towns does anything? Mm. Or does Randall do more for Minnesota? Well, the other day he put up stro- yeah. 30 yeah. something. Like, he went off, right? I hope Minnesota. Yeah. I So, I don't think they'll make it to the final, but Minnesota is my team that I would want yeah. to make yeah. it to the finals. Yeah, that that's fair. Yeah. They're. I thought them losing uh, Carl Anthony Towns was like a blow to them, but... Maybe it's, yeah. But also, too, so I've been hearing some stuff about Cat. People say he's soft. For a big, he's he's soft, soft, right? Now, him on the Knicks... He better not be soft, because they're going to destroy him. But... Maybe he needs the Knicks. At the same time, though, they had... um, When Thibodeau was uh, coaching... That was a young so cat. So Thibodeau yeah. definitely blessed that trade. Yeah. So he knows what he can get from Cat. Oh, for sure. So maybe we'll see Tibbs get the best out of Cat. Could be, yeah. Right? Because, you know, the Knicks, Knicks game is it's a hard-fought game, yeah. right? It's, it's hard-nosed. Guys, that's why I like Jalen Brunson. He's a small yeah. point guard, but he's, Josh Hart. he's not afraid to get in there, right? So, yeah. and you know, that New York fan base, they're going to get on Cat if he's... Yeah. You know, you can't be flopping around or... You can't do that. But you know what I think? Because of Tibbs' style, a lot of the players, like, they were they were struggling with injuries in the playoffs. Yeah. I think it might be a similar situation this year. They're going to yeah. be really good. Mm. They're going to get second round. Yeah. Guys are going to go, come back, go, come back. Yeah. And it's going to be it's gonna be hard for them. Mm, that's fair. You know a team that we forgot out of the yeah. East? The Pacers. Halliburton? Siakam, Miles Turner. I mean, they they went what? Uh, they they lost in the Eastern Conference Finals. No, did they? I think they did. Yeah, and the midseason tournament, okay. they lost to the Lakers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Which, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I think Halliburton's kind of have it on cruise control. Really? You always see him posting up with like, oh, <laughs> the snow bunnies. All the snow bunnies. <laughs> I don't know. Man. I don't know what's going on yeah, there. Just... Shout out to you, Halliburton. Yeah. That would be doing the same shit. <laughs> I got my money. Yeah. Oh. Let me enjoy life. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Life ain't about champion. You know you're not winning no. a chip. You might as well post up with the bunnies. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Holy. that's good, man. Raptors not yeah. doing anything this year. No. no. Nothing. Thank God they got a win because I honestly yeah. thought this year would be a yeah. season. They have no wins. <laughs> oh, my God. I know. Gosh, yeah, and the Cavs, they're they're I don't know. They, I don't know about that. I don't feel anything coming from that. Really? Yeah, hmm. that's fair. Yeah, definitely better than the Raptors. Yeah, that's for sure. Raptors dead last, right? Detroit Raptors, Somewhere dead last the, team. Yeah. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> 